Hey guys, all over Windows here. Today I am back with another video. And today I am joined with the $5 Windows 98 laptop. And today, what I'm going to be putting on it is Windows FLP, aka Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs. So basically, uh, what Windows FLP is, for those of you who do not know, Windows FLP is a thin client operating system developed by Microsoft for older, less powerful hardware. And this thing does not really run Windows XP very well, and so that's why Microsoft made this operating system, is for people that want to use Windows XP, but their computers don't, uh, their computers can't run it very well. Um, it is a light, a much lighter version of Win the Windows XP operating system, and many components are optional to tailor specific needs. It was released by Microsoft uh, J July 8, 2006, and it was actually uh, codenamed Edgar for some strange reason. I'm not sure what Edgar means, but uh, the mainstream support for this operating system ended in April 14th, 2009, uh, and the extended support actually ended in 2014, uh, which is pretty much with all Windows XP operating systems. They all ended in 2014. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the installation. All right, let's go ahead and turn on the laptop. For those of you who are not familiar with my channel, uh, this is my $5 Windows 98 laptop. It is a Dell Inspiron 7500. Uh, it originally, or it has an Intel Pentium 3 in it and it's designed for Windows 98. Um, it originally had, I think, 128 megabytes of RAM and I put a 512 meg megabyte stick in it, but that uh, stick didn't have like a, a controller on it so the computer couldn't really recognize it. So I, and I can't really find a, a, a correct one with a controller. But yeah, that is what I'm joined with. And uh, let's go ahead and just turn the computer on. I don't remember what exactly, or what operating system exactly I have on this thing. So whatever we boot into, that's what it'll be. It's probably gonna be a beta operating system, if anything. Oh yeah, see, this is what I was talking about here. It doesn't have the SPD or serial presence detect. The, the RAM stick doesn't, but it'll it'll still use it. it. It just lowers the bus speed. So we'll go ahead and boot into the CD. And this looks just like Windows 2K. Well, there you go. It says Microsoft Windows XP, but it doesn't actually say professional or anything. It doesn't even have the copyright date down in the bottom left. That was more like a beta, a beta screen. I wonder if you can um, use a legacy update. And there you go. Now we have the Windows 7 logo. <laughs> Sorry, no. Windows Vista logo, kind of the same thing, I guess. Goodness. I don't need the command prompt, I don't think. All right, setup is initializing. Whoa. Oh, hey, okay, interesting. The whole setup is black. Welcome to Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PC Setup. This wizard helps you set up Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs to continue click next. Wow, that's so simple. Let's push next here. Oh, I can't scroll on this or anything. It's just that, interesting. I want to set up Windows on my computer, and then interactive mode, heck yes, it'll give me stuff to do. Product key. I forgot to write it down, let me go get it. Hey, there we go. How come Pacific Time is always the one that's default? Alright, let's do the custom configuration. Man, that hard, er, hard drive, man, that DVD uh, headlight is just going insane. I don't know why it said headlight, it's a laser light, but... Uh, sure, let's go ahead and check additional driver support. Um... I don't know if I need anything else. Yeah, I'll enable this. Let's enable this as well and find the patch to get this to work. But I don't think I'll need Windows help local management support. Actually, I am going to check that. I am not installing everything. I don't need languages. Uh-oh. Actually, I will check uh, the help one, but I do not need the language uh, support. <laughs> there we go. Let's push next and let it install. Never mind. We got to choose the partition first. 60 gigabytes. I'm not really sure why it says I have 60 gigabytes. Interesting. Okay. Quick format. Next here. And now to do the interactive setup stuff. No, not AOE. Win FLP. 
ISP. I don't need an admin password. Never mind, it requires one for some reason. Awesome. Okay. Um. Oops. I'm just going to keep these unchecked. Hit work group, yes. And finalizing setup. Let's go ahead and press install. Interesting. This kind of is like. This is kind of. Huh. This is more like a Longhorn style setup. Timer. It started at seven seconds. All right, we are now restarting. Let's see what happens. Is it going to stay this Windows Vista uh, type icon, or is it just the setup that looks like that? First boot agent is starting. Installing Cappy. The heck is a Cappy? The only Cappy I know is that movie. What an interesting like setup, though. It's so different. I'm not in a freaking install loop. The mouse looks smaller to me. Oh, hey. Oh, that's what they meant by a uh, longhorn flag. It's technically, <laughs> it's, not, it's not really meant to be like a longhorn. It's just, you know, white. Well, I don't really have a username, but yeah, I don't know why they chose the white flag, but they did. I don't know why I said flag either. Oh wait, it just had audio. I had it turned down on accident, but it had a startup sound. Crap, I missed it. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, we are now in Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs. There really is not that much to look through. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get the display drivers installed because this right here is taking its absolute perfect Perfect? What? It's not perfect at all. This thing is taking its sweet time downloading, just downloading the drivers. Because it's just going that slow. But if it takes a while to open, that's why. Um, Windows FLP doesn't really have that much to offer. Just because it's like meant for old computers. Um, but I mean, all the stuff on here is just normal stuff that comes with it normally. Um, again, there's really not much in here. I mean, there's literally the activate windows option for some strange reason. And system restores in here too, which is pretty interesting. I don't know why it was turned off, but... So I, uh... So make sure you guys go down in the description and click the link, um, down below to watch the stream, because I've been streaming for two hours now trying to get these stupid drivers to install. But yeah, that's pretty much all I can show off for this. I did get it installed. 
Um, this is really what it looks like. It's basically, you know, low-end Windows XP. There's not too much on here. And once the hard drive starts being in use, just like Windows XP, it takes its sweet time to freaking load everything. It takes such a long time. And I'm using an SSD. It's just being bottlenecked. Being bottlenecked by the uh, CPU, which is a, just, it's just a, a, an Intel i3. Intel i3? No, it's not. It's an Intel Pentium 3. But I did get Service Pack 3 installed on here. It originally came with Service Pack 2. Which is what these files here are for. Oh, yeah, I don't even know. Is that normal? Where it comes with the file explorer called Windows Explorer? Interesting. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, operating system. It was more or less just like the installing of the operating system that's like the interesting part, I guess. Oh, wow, this is Windows Media Player 10. What the? I didn't open this. Did I open that? I probably did actually. Um, I would look at the backgrounds, but I can't get Windows Media Player to close. I've always hated that about Windows XP. You tell it end now, but it doesn't actually end it. Okay. Let's see if there's any special backgrounds. I know there's not any special sounds. Oh. Solid colors. That's... That sucks, man. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but... Man, uh, let's make it gray. Go back to Windows 3. <laughs> Is there any special screensavers? Uh, that's it. Just this one. Wow. Can I at least increase the resolution? Oh, I can. It looks weird, but I can. I wish I could set it to 32-bit. Well guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Um, please go down in the description if you guys, uh, to watch this live stream. It was a pain. It took me so long. It was boring. <laughs> so much went on and, it, and nothing went on at the same time. If you guys would like to see my live streams, uh, make sure to become a member. Basically what I'm trying to say is, my live streams are members only until the video of the live streams go public. If you guys would like to see it before that happens, just become a member and you'll see it. You're, you also get a little bit more other special content too. Um, but yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Sorry, it was kind of boring, but you know, it is what it is. But anyways, but anyways, guys, I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys.